Shashi Kala's parole plea has uh, been rejected. That's the information coming in at this point in time that the parole plea of Shashi Kala has uh, been rejected. That's the breaking development at this hour. Uh, Shashi Kala, remember, had applied for parole given the fact that uh, her husband, Natrajan, has been admitted in a hospital with a liver disease and she wanted to visit her ailing husband. That was the grounds on which parole had been applied for. The police, uh, the jail authority rather had said that they would take a report from Tamil Nadu police before they actually go ahead and decide on this parole but now information coming in that the parole that she had applied for has been rejected by the jail authorities there in Karnataka so clearly of course Shashikala's parole plea there being rejected by the authorities Deepak joins us for more on the story. Deepak, uh, take us through what exactly was the reason cited as to why the parole was rejected. Well, uh, speaking to a few officers here, uh, they've gone on to say that there was a demand made uh, for a certificate from uh, from, uh, from from Tamil Nadu where uh, Sasikala's husband, Natarajan, is admitted to uh, to somewhere substantiate the claim that he has, in fact, been admitted in this particular hospital, in this particular area. Now, the police say this sort of certificate should be given by either some of the elected representatives, which could be the MLA, the MP, or the cor local corporate of the area, or any of the police officials. Uh, this particular certificate was not given, and that's the reason they've rejected uh, the parole application at this point in time. Uh, there could, however, be an opportunity for them to make a reappeal uh, that of course will will, will be uh, with uh, these the, the documents that they have not provided and they could not provide in the time that was allotted by the Karnataka police at this point in time. Well, it is technical grounds there that Deepak, uh, you're saying on which it has been rejected. Stay on with us. We also have Shabir joining us. Uh, Shabir, clearly, of course, it seems to be technical reasons as to why Shashikala's parole was rejected. Well, that's right. TTV Dinakaran's camp was extremely hopeful that they will manage to get a parole for Sasikala because her husband is admitted in hospital and uh, his condition remains to be critical. And yesterday, the reports uh, that were uh, released, the medical uh, a bulletin that was released by the global hospital clearly says that his situation, uh, his condition is getting deteriorated. Uh, so at this point in time, they were very hopeful. But some technical issues have uh, seems to have cropped up uh, uh, in the last minute. So. Probably they will go for a reappeal, is what uh, sources are telling us, because uh, this uh, parole application was moved by her advocates. And right now, what we are picking up is that the legal team is uh, once again working into it. And if uh, once again her, uh, her plea for a parole gets rejected, right. then probably they will move. All to right, move Shabir and Deepak, thank you so much for joining us on this broadcast. Certainly, of course, an important development as far as Shashikala is concerned over there. Thank you so much for bringing us that update.